What's up, everybody? Episode number 474 of Get Paid for Your Pad. And today I have one of the most popular guests that I've had on this podcast. He's been here, uh, I don't know, like two, three, maybe four times. Uh, but I definitely know that some of the episodes uh, that we did together uh, were some of the most popular ones. So without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, Kelvin Ma, the CEO and founder of Rank Breeze which is a tool that you can use to uh, optimize your listings and, uh, and make sure that you show up uh, in the search results. Uh, I also kind of know you as the, as the SEO, the Airbnb SEO expert, Kelvin, is that, uh, <laughs> would you? Yeah. Yeah. I guess we could, we could position uh, myself <laughs> in that category. Uh, probably no one is as weird and nerdy as me about that, <laughs> that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah. I think I've, I think this might be the fourth episode. Um, you know, I'm definitely going for that. Uh, that most appearances on, on the get paid for your pad podcast, for sure. Right, <laughs> Hopefully. Well, I don't know. Well, actually Eric's I've, probably, that's probably Eric, but he's your partner. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be hard to, it's going to be hard to beat Eric. Um, but I'm excited to have you back. And uh, of course I, I want, I'm, I'm really excited to talk to you about this because there's a lot of questions that, uh, that have come up in, in the last week or so, um, you know, after Airbnb released that, uh, the massive update and they completely changed uh, the search on Airbnb. If, you, uh, if you're listening to this and you haven't checked out the Airbnb website, go on there um, and just kind of look around in your, in your area and, and you'll see there's all these categories now um, that people can uh, select for search. Uh, the titles have disappeared. Just the whole way that search is, is, is designed is, has completely changed. And everybody is wondering, I've gotten, a lot, I've gotten a lot of emails, there's conversations in our student groups, like everyone's wondering, like, how is this going to affect my listing? Is it still going to show up? Is it, are, you know, do I need to be in one of these categories? How do I get there? Lots of questions. And so at Kelvin, I'm looking, at, I'm looking for you to, to give me an answer on all of this. <laughs> Well, well, maybe we'll kick it off with with those those core those those primary updates that that they did on May 11th. Uh, so Airbnb released categories, which you which you just went over, and these categories, I think there's about 50 different categories. They range from uh, Arctic stays to caves to um, you know yurts and uh, places with amazing views that are you know and and vineyards and things like that. So that, those are those are what we're talking about when we're talking about categories. And they introduced something called split stay as well, which mm -hmm. uh, my understanding of split stay is that it will try to match you up with a uh, another like sorry if you're a guest and you are looking to stay uh, at, at an Airbnb and then the, uh, the, the you'll be recommended another property that is supposed to be similar to 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 the property you just booked and. Um, as far as how to be recommended by that uh, that uh, split stay search, I believe you should have at least three days available in your um, uh, of availability in your calendar, and that is at least the first barrier <laughs> to to getting uh, a recommended. And uh, yeah, and the third thing was was air cover for guests, but but not. Not necessarily as probably as important for for this conversation as as the yeah. the way that search is impacting and, and moving around. Yeah, and you know, I've, those are the three big updates. I think I think the first one is is the one that we we get the most questions around. You know, like because like yes, they they introduce categories, but they also changed quite a bit right around search like did it you know they didn't officially announce like hey we're we're not going to show the titles anymore in the search results for example um but uh but they did so there's i think that part is like where there's most uncertainty amongst hosts of like how is this going to affect us and also the more, more questions around like what can we do to adjust to this to these new uh so we'll we'll dive into this but first of all like do you like what are your thoughts on it's something that I've been trying to figure out is like this Airbnb, but just uh, do they choose like what category you're in? Because I know I can set on my uh, on the back end, I we have our listings as cabins, right? And we do show up as cabin, but I feel like there's some of these categories like uh, amazing views, like I don't see that category in on the back end in my Airbnb listing. So is Airbnb just selecting those? 
Uh, I believe so. Yeah, they they mentioned that they're using machine learning, artificial intelligence to to gather data about uh, about properties and and organizing them into into these categories. So they're looking at your uh, they are looking at your title. So your title um, does matter uh, in, in in that sense. So they're looking at your title. They're looking at your description. They're looking at your photos, uh, your photo captions, and uh, the reviews that are in. Um, the, the reviews that you have, and they said some other data. I'm not sure exactly what that other data is, but as far as things that you could influence, um, uh, you know, that we're stepping into that like what to do type of question. Uh, I, I, I'm of the personal opinion that that yes, Airbnb has removed the titles from the uh, from the search page results, but. Uh, you know, they still need to understand your property. And the more information that you can provide Airbnb uh, about your property, the better. So yes, the, the, you know, when they, and also when somebody arrives on your listing too, um, they maybe didn't see your title before, but they will see your title individually on your page. Mm -hmm. So that's and that's kind of the hardest part, <laughs> really, right? Uh, there's a there's getting the people to click on your property, but then to get them to book on your property instead of going back to to the Airbnb search results page, uh, that that you know there's a little bit of a th that that's the hard battle ultimately is trying to get that that booking conversion. Um, and for your title, uh, it's still a possibility for you to to adjust your title. Um, I think, you know, I think, I, I really do think that people would be very, very unhappy if you could not add a, add a title in there. And also as, as Airbnb gets bigger, you know, they're just, they just, they need more information. So uh, almost removing information from their perspective, from, from, from my perspective, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really make sense for, for, for them. As far as how they arrange it in the search results page, that's, that's a different story, but for them to collect data about your property, um, and and place you into a category, yeah. I mm -hmm. I I think that that the the title still plays a part. Every 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 listing does have a title. Yeah, yeah. And I think you, I think you make a, make a really good point. You know, like I think it's really important for us to use all the functionality that Airbnb has. Use all the areas where we can add information to our listing. So not just our Airbnb profile you know, our Airbnb description, putting your captions, you know, like I still see a lot of hosts who don't have captions. You know, I really think that that's a missed opportunity. And I wasn't, I wasn't aware that Airbnb was using that data, um, you know, to learn more about the listing. I was always thinking when it comes to captions of, of the guest experience, like, you know, it's a, it's a way to provide extra information uh, to the guest. Um, at a, in a place where the guest is probably going to look, right? Because people will look at the photos, so they'll probably see the captions. But that's a that's a really good point, you know. Like, um, go for go for your Airbnb listing and make sure like you provide as much information as possible. Also, I've noticed that um, you know when you go to when you go to Airbnb, have you seen that section now where where it says like next steps for you, and they they give you some. Uh, some some hints or some some questions or some some suggestions as to how you could uh, provide more details to your listing. Uh, do you mean like kind of like the opportunities section, like in the in the the the, the, the hosting dashboard? Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the, it it shows up. I mean, for me at least, it shows up under under the today tab. You know, I see today, and then I see my reservations. Um, people that are coming in the next couple of days. And then below that, it says like next steps for you. Right. And it says like uh, for one of my, my listing, it says, do you have a dedicated workspace? Right. So uh, apparently that's, that's information that I can add that I, I haven't added yet. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a couple, there's a couple more things. And I think they, they come up with these suggestions because um, you know, a guest may have mentioned, um, Hey, you know, I, I like this, I like this room because, you know, it was easy for me to work there or something like that. And then Airbnb picks up on that and says like, oh, this might be a dedicated workspace, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. The, well, I mean, in general, we, in general, each area kind of has, you know, this baseline of amenities as well. You know, like if you were to take every property in a particular area, there's, there's pretty much like a baseline, 
somewhere, somewhere in the middle there, there's a little bit of a baseline where you should at least have these things and then everything above those, those amenities is just going to add extra, um, uh, extra visibility for you. One, one thing I like to say is that, uh, or one of the rules around like ranking on, on Airbnb is fighting the filter because everything that a guest does is essentially filtering. Um, and I actually think that the categories are just, are just another form of filtering, just mm -hmm. like when you're filtering um, by an amenity or a whole home or a shared, shared unit, things like that. Um, so yeah, the, the, um, if, you, if you haven't audited your amenities in, in a while, that's definitely like a, a good thing to do. Um, uh, one thing we do in, at RankBreeze is we have this thing called the amenities analyzer. It looks at the top, uh, top ranked properties for uh, in in your area and right now that's that's the all homes category uh because these new categories are new <laughs> so we we haven't solved we haven't done that 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 work yet and we're still investigating it um but in general what it's doing is it's pulling in the top ranked properties in your area and then kind of looking at what those folks have and th that are ranked high and then telling you what you are missing that you could potentially add in uh as well to that you either you know just forgot to add uh, turn on or maybe you you should invest into there's a lot of uh yeah there's a lot of uh, you know airbnb is updating those amenities like all the time <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, for sure. so you're always missing something for sure yeah yeah it's a, it's right because like for example this next step uh, thing that i'm looking at i I go in there quite often and I fill out, you know, I take all the opportunities, but then every now and then a new one will pop up. Um, but one, uh, one question I want to ask you, you know, talking about these categories and I actually got an email from, <clears throat> from somebody today who asked me this very, uh, this very question of saying like, you know, how do I, how do I get my listing into a category? You know, cause right now my listing is just, uh, it, it, it it's not in a, it's not in category. It's just like, it shows up under all homes, but it doesn't show up in, um, in a, anywhere else. Right. So you're saying like, well, if you have a pretty good view, maybe you want to put in your title, like amazing view. And then maybe in the caption or, you, you know, of, of a photo of that view, you put the amazing view in the caption and then maybe Airbnb will pick up on that and say like, okay, we'll put your listing in the amazing view category. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good question. Um, and, <laughs> in a weird way, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll preface it by saying this, that it's still new to me too, right? So I can really only tell you what? sort of things that I've, eh, you know, it's, it's pretty new. Uh, my, my arm actually really hurts right now because I've been running through all these scenarios of different ways that people are searching on Airbnb with different, um, uh, you know, different reasons. You know, if you're just going for a couple's getaway, a romantic getaway, or are you booking like a huge group of of a bachelor party for guys and booking a bachelor party for women is different too. And just, just different searches. Um, but in terms of the category, uh, so yeah, so Airbnb is looking at your, they're using machine learning, um, uh, which is just a way of saying that they're, 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 they're training like an algorithm to learn uh, constantly based on new data being fed into it. The, uh, it's looking at your title. It's looking at your description. It's looking at your 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 photo captions. Um, it's looking at your reviews, and I believe it's also looking at your photos. I would think it'd be really silly for them to not look at your photos themselves, like using um, what's known as uh, computer vision, where they can look at a property and say, "Okay, this property is or not property." Uh, they can look at an image and see that this image is. Um, 80% blue, you know, and maybe in the background, there's uh, an artifact, which would be like a mountain or something like you can kind of tell certain things like that. Um, so I think what you could do, uh, if, if you're just if you want to get into a particular category is to uh, essentially make it blatantly clear, <laughs> as blatantly clear. So it's like the first thing in your title and maybe the first thing in your summary and the first thing in your, in like the, 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 the space section in, in Airbnb, like the, the longer section. So if you've kind of got those covered, you can't really necessarily do much with the, the reviews that are provided to you. But um, um, 
I mean, in a sense, you you could if you're to 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 operationally sort of figure that out and and um, I don't know, encourage people about uh, you know about leaving reviews about particular items if they and, and how they they felt about it. Uh, but yeah, so in a sense, stuffing those those things into your into your listing description as much as possible, uh, and. I would probably try, you know, try and play around with with photos too. If you have the opportunity to just just adjust the photos a little bit and maybe make them a little bit clearer that that's that's what we're aiming for. That's that's one thing. Um, and when it comes down to to captions, for example, um, I think you might want to you might want to think of ways to simplify those captions too. So, for example, let's say you have a um let's say you have a photo of your living room um and there's some stairs that go up and there's like a kitchen in the background <laughs> so there's there's kind of a few different things there right you could write this is a this is a um uh this is the living room with a kitchen and if you go upstairs there's the master bedroom that's on the left hand side by the bathroom <laughs> so you know and if that was your caption it's 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 there's a lot of information in there right so i think if you could simplify that a little bit more and make it very very distinct about what you're what you're describing you're going to have less of a chance to of confusing airbnb right they have to do more work to to decipher what you're actually meaning there and and potentially they might not do a good job of it so the simpler that you can be around that 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 caption area um uh, the better. Hopefully yeah. that was a good example. Yeah. I mean, what I, what I hear is like, you know, we, we want to Airbnb kind of forces us to, to really think about the experience that we're providing. Right. Cause in my mind, this is, you know, this shift, this is a shift from destination focused, um, search to experience focused search. Right. And, um, you know, for example, like I'm, I, I was just looking, I was just looking at the category surfing. You know, and I'm thinking like, okay, are they, are they just picking listings that are on the beach near an area where they know that we, that you can surf or is there a clue in the, inside of the listing that makes them, you know, select, give, give this listing, the, the surf category. Right. Um, and that's one thing I'm curious about. So I, I went through some listings and I noticed that, um, I found some listings that are categorized as surfing. But the there's actually no, nowhere in the listing is it can I find the word surf not in the title not in the captions not in the photos like never it's just like for example there's a I'm looking at a villa in Malibu there's no reference to surfing in that listing but just because it is in Malibu I think Airbnb and it's on the beach right then Airbnb says okay this is you know this is in the category of surfing another question that I have for you. I don't know if you know the answer, but can, can we be in multiple categories? <laughs> Actually, I was just thinking about that. Um, and uh, right now that's, that's pretty much what we're looking at. You know, this, this design came about and um, you know, we've kind of had to shift a little bit away from some, some of the long-term stuff that we're doing at Ring Breeze, but, and, and now kind of a little bit more on the reaction side, which is not usually my, my, I don't love being the reactionary type, but uh, in general, that's right now, we're just trying to answer some fundamental questions around, around, around this, which, which, which that is a fundamental question, right? That's, can you be in multiple categories? Um, uh, one question that I kind of had floating around, which I'm pretty sure is, 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 is um is not true is that uh you know if you're in the all homes category and you're positioned in uh, uh sorry can you be if you're positioned into uh, another like a, another category let's say say cabins or something like that can you be found in the all homes is it like mutually exclusive these are kind of certain questions i think most property all properties are, are in the all homes um what's yeah. also interesting too about these different categories from 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 what they are today and, and things can certainly change and um, is that each time you go to a different category, it's almost like a new search. It's almost like a new tab that's mm -hmm. opening up on, on Airbnb and you have this like almost like a whole new map. Uh, and, and if you click that, you know, sometimes you guys, I think most people have noticed that it goes 
pretty wide at this point. Um, and maybe that's because Airbnb is trying to be very forward about where they're trying to go and, and trying to stimulate more, um, uh, try, trying to essentially shift people's uh, short-term rental investing habits. I think that's, that's, that's kind of in a way, I think what they're, what they're trying to do. Um, but yeah, as far as can a, can a property be in multiple categories? I don't know yet. Still trying to, to, uh, uh, figure those things out. Those are kind of like the, we have some fundamental questions that we're trying to, to understand right now. And, and that's definitely yeah. one of them. And I'll come back. I mean, yeah. I'll let you know <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, because it's it's really interesting, and and one thing to note is that um, like, like you used to be when you put in a location and you would search an Airbnb, it would really zoom in on on that location, right? And it used to be the case that you would have like two options: you would either have like a small map or you would have a, a larger map. They made some changes there too. The map is like very uh, very dominant now; it's like a big part of the screen. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that as, you know, I'm trying to look in, I'm looking in Idlewild, for example, where Eric and I have our four cabins, right? And I'm curious, like, are we, I know we're a cabin, but are we also countryside, right? Because I, I know that I see listings in Idlewild that are in the category um, countryside, right? But as soon as I select that category, the map just blows out. And now Airbnb is showing me all these different listings in different towns, like far, far, pretty far away from Idlewild even, right? So. Yeah. I, you know, so I, I think that's another question that uh, that we get a lot of is like, is like now that Airbnb is showing is showing listings further away, you know, like, does that mean like we, because there's two sides of that, like, you know, I don't want Airbnb to show listings outside of Idlewild when they look for Idlewild, because then they're not going to find my listing. But at the same time, if somebody's looking in Palm Springs, and they put cabin. I want Airbnb to show our cabin, so that somebody who is looking at Palm Springs and shows our, sees our cabin and is, is like, "Oh, well, actually, this cabin looks cool." Like instead of Palm Springs, let's go to Idlewild, right? So, the, to, to me, the question is like, how can we show up in 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 those uh, in in those those times when people are searching in a different area, but your listing is still going to show up? Uh, if <sighs> I mean, I feel like we we individually, everyone probably has like opinions on 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 what what should do, what Airbnb should do. Um, even myself, you know, as I was going through and running through like through millions of well, not millions, but uh, dozens of dozens of scenarios and 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 trying to to figure things out like that. I, I personally had had some opinions on on ways to improve Airbnb too, uh, but the um, the categories are very interesting. They do pull out quite a bit. They are, um, they do show a lot of, of different properties there. I think, I think it would actually be beneficial for, for you to be in multiple categories. I, I just think it, it makes way more sense mm -hmm. to, 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 to appear in whatever category someone can search. You know, I'm, you know, if it's definitely possible to be, have an amazing view uh, and also be a cabin and near a vineyard. <laughs> you know, yeah, these are, yeah, exactly. these are all things that, that I would personally be satisfied with, uh, with, with finding if, if, if I was kind of going through it, I, I do, I, I do in a sense right now, I, I think it is a little bit difficult to, to find properties my, myself personally, when, when I'm searching on, on, on Airbnb with these new categories, it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's been less than a week <laughs> right now. So I think there's going to be a lot of things that they can, they can certainly refine back um, or, or, you know, and uh, who knows, maybe they'll just revert back. See, that was another thing that we were talking about on the team was what if they just, what if they just revert back in like a month because, because I don't know, people aren't happy or something like that or, or around it, or maybe it's, yeah. um, uh, maybe it's just no, not working that's out. That's possible. That's yeah. possible. I mean, they've, 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 they've made changes before where they, you know, they, they, they went back and I've already seen some comments from people saying like, Hey, this is kind of annoying. Cause like, you know, I know I want to go to this particular destination, but then I, you know, as soon as I click on the, on the, on, let's say I want to stay at a cabin or a dome. As soon as I click on one of these categories, the, the map just blows out. And now Airbnb shows me all these other, you know, all these places in different, 
in different areas, but that's not where I want to go. I, I know I want to go to this particular destination, right? So I could yeah, tell and you have to zoom how... in back into there, right? It's, it's exactly, just more clicks. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's it's going to be really interesting what the response is going to be on the guest side, because because, uh, yeah, if you're if you're kind of experience minded and you don't mind, you know, you, you don't really care too much about which particular like village or city you go to, then this is great because you can, you, you know, you could be like, oh, I want to I want to stay at a dome. I don't care if it's like 100 miles this way, 100 miles that way. So it, it's going to be interesting to see if most you know, if, if there are more guests who are kind of like embracing that that experience uh, type of search versus uh, versus the location. But I do have an update for you uh, because as we're talking, you know, I'm uh, I'm, I'm trying to find uh, our cabins and I just uh, I just found one of our cabins in the category countryside. You know, so Perfect. that's uh, so that's good news. But my next so then my next question R&D right you know, now. right? <laughs> yeah, we're doing re research on the spot. So here's, but here's, here's something that's interesting. Okay. So when I click on all homes, I see 492 stays in, in Idaho. When I click on countryside, it's only, uh, it's on, and I zoom in cause then Airbnb zooms out. So I'm like, you know, zooming back into, back into Idaho. But now I only see like 307 listings. So that's really interesting because I mean, to me, like, you know, it's the area defines if it's countryside or not. Right. So right. why are some homes in Idaho the countryside and then some are not? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know either. <laughs> I, I'm not sure either. Uh I, I really I really do think though this is certainly a little bit of a um uh, it's a bit of an, a learning experience, a learning experiment for them. It's a big learning experiment, mm. um, in, in my opinion. Uh, and even, for example, even uh, even removing right now, they've they've removed the number of reviews that that um, yeah. a, a property has, right? Which is. Which in some ways it's like you know in some ways it's. Okay, I understand. I, I actually, I think they're probably doing that to spread around the 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 visitors and and like uh, and maybe spread around the bookings a little bit more. I, I feel like that is potentially part of the reason why why they've done that. Uh, but if you go to, to you know if you go to some areas that uh, in particular like an urban area, and let's say it's just two people that are traveling by themselves, and you go to this urban area, it's uh, it's pretty hard to make a decision without seeing the number of reviews of uh, that, that are included in there. Cause you know, you'll, uh, you, they're all pretty much condos and they're all pictures of either the living room or a bedroom. And they all have pretty decent ratings or no ratings if it says new, but then it's just so hard for me. It was very difficult to make a decision because everything looked pretty similar, uh, but I had to go there or I have to go there and, and, uh, it, 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 I'm not sure if it's really making that that decision better. Um, Airbnb is very experimental, though. You know, they have they there are cases where they'll they'll have different versions of Airbnb running simultaneously. Uh, for example, they'll you know the, the 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 number of of properties that that appear on a single page, going from 20 to maybe reducing it to 10, or or maybe uh, yeah, or reducing it in half. Like, what does that impact make? And so these are the type of questions that the Airbnb has has um, has asked themselves, uh, and and has has made decisions upon that. And I think right now we're kind of in this we're in this mode where where they're asking questions to figure things out. Uh, and we're just sort of <laughs> waiting to see what happens. My vote, though, is that they put back the the, the number of reviews. It's it's uh, I don't think it's actually very fair for for people. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. And you know, one other thing that I noticed that they changed is uh, they now add they showed the a number of beds. And you know how you can how you can specify your listing whether you have like a queen or a double or king. You know that's really important to to do. Uh, to uh, specify now because i know some hosts like they forget to specify the type of beds um mm -hmm. because it's much better like if you have queen beds for example it, it's much better if it shows up as queen beds versus just a regular bed mm -hmm. or king bed for example right 
Um, yeah. <clears throat> but just to give you another update on this uh, live research here, um, <laughs> only one of our cabins shows up under countryside. Only one out of four. I think they're all right so, next to each other, right? Yours? They, yeah, they're right next to each other. So, so I don't know why. I don't know why Airbnb. It is our most popular unit. It is our most popular unit. So maybe that's why, because it's a, it also says like, this is a rare find. This place is usually fully booked. So I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe Airbnb just looks at, you know, like if you select these different categories, maybe they just look at, okay, let's just, let's not show all the listings, but let's show like the most popular ones that could be in that category, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a good point. Um, another thing too, that, uh, another thing that Airbnb does, at least you know, bef before this update, I'm not sure about the, 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 the category specifically. But if we're talking about about all homes, which is, which is the, the category we were prior to 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 May 11th, there with that uh, with the search update. Uh, so they used to, oh, well, it's not they used to. They they do they do add they add properties in there. Um, if you're looking at the first page results, sometimes you'll look at these results and, and think, to, to think to yourself, why does this terrible looking property <laughs> show up on, on the first page? You know, it's, it's, it's kind of, I think it's kind of mind boggling for, for some people, uh, but there's actually a very good reason for why, why, that, ha why that is the case. So uh, back in the day, Airbnb was running an experiment and they were you know, um, they're, they're a search engine, right? So as time has progressed, they've, they've gotten more advanced and, and that will continue to, to happen. But uh, uh, at the beginning, you know, if, if, if uh, Jasper and I were on the team, we'd probably say, okay, well, let's just show all the, the highest converting properties that have maybe the, 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 the highest occupancy rate <laughs> on them and the highest number of reviews, all these sorts of things, you know, um, and just put them all on the first page and, and order them that way. Uh, so they did that. They did that. And it worked. But as they, they, they thought to themselves, okay, well, what if we, what if we kind of sprinkle in some, some other properties that aren't really as, as good as as those 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 ones that we've we we just organized. So so mixing in the 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 mixing in a few you know poor to to medium properties in there in the mixture of of those really really stellar properties. And what they noticed was that it actually ended up more bookings for them across the board. Uh, hmm. So that's 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 one thing that's 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 happening. Uh, but in terms of categories, I don't know. I don't know if that's a I don't know if that's the thing because I've certainly looked at at properties there and and notice okay there's no indication that this is a property that should be in this category. Uh, it probably is, but I, I don't really know why it's here or or or, or how how it got there per se. Um, it was still a nice place. <laughs> it just wasn't very apparent to me that uh, it, that it was you know on the vineyard because you couldn't see the vineyard exactly on there. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, the, those are some of the questions running through my mind too. Yeah, you know what? The, this reminds me of um, some like sales lesson that I learned from uh, my brother who used he used to work in his shop, and he was telling me that um, people people tend to want to choose the the mid range when it comes to pricing, right? So let's say let's say you let's say you sell you have two bottles of wine that you sell. All right, one's like 10 and one's like 15 bucks, right? And you know, you're noticing like, well, everyone's everyone's, you know, the $10 bell bottle sells a lot better than the $15 bottle bottle, right? Now, if you were to if you were to just take one bottle of wine and you're not really intending to sell it, and you make it like 30 bucks and you put that next to those other two bottles of wine, the $15 one is gonna sell much better suddenly. Because now people are like, oh, there's a ten dollar, a fifteen, and, and a thirty, you know, and they're like, ah, I don't want to, I don't want to choose the the cheap. Now suddenly that ten dollar dollar bottle of wine looks really cheap, and now people are like, ah, I don't want to take the cheapest one. I'll take the fifteen dollar bottle. Versus if you have the ten and the fifteen only, then people are more, you know, um, more likely to choose the ten dollar 
So I don't know if yeah. that's uh, if that makes sense to compare. Yeah, I think this. that's called price anchoring. Um, I think that that's. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, I think it's called price anchoring, and so uh, a percentage of the people that you know that go to your shop and and look at this different you know, these different bottles of wine, a percentage a percentage of them will choose that thirty as well because. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, they're sure. the premium buyer, right? Yeah, yeah. Now I guess what I'm trying to say is like if Airbnb shows 20 listings that are all, they all look like extremely well, beautiful and well-designed and the pictures look awesome. Maybe that's like, it, maybe it's harder for people to choose something if they see 20 amazing properties. If versus like, if Airbnb shows you like, you know, like five amazing property or 10 amazing properties, and then some, you know, less, some listings that look are of less quality maybe that is there's a similar psychology at play or something and and you know i'm just trying to think out loud like what what you're saying is like you know airbnbs used to mix it up more so i don't yeah. know do you, is that a factor uh well i mean it makes a difference in terms of them mixing in those certain things i'm kind of thinking about when i was just recently searching for the, the area and you know all the properties look pretty much this this the same um you know they were just it was a two person i was just looking for two people um in a particular area that i have no idea about by the way you know like i don't know anywhere about this this area so all i see is just properties and they all look very similar it just it became very hard for me to make a decision on where to go that's why i was saying mm -hmm. if, the, if we added the reviews i would probably go to the ones with with more reviews first just to just to mm -hmm. check it out because my it, it enhances my own research personally and shortens the length of time that 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 a person is is um is is researching things and yeah. I, I i think that's important for airbnb too you know they, they don't want to have these really long time frames where a person begins their search and ends their search they want to they want to right. shorten that as as much as possible um mm -hmm. you know actually that i think that probably leads us to to another topic i think uh around this and, and just helping us position this this new design um and, and that is uh, you know, what is, what is Airbnb trying to do? I guess, you know, that's, that's, that's one thing I, I try to think about is, is what are they, what, what is Airbnb trying to do with this, this, this new update? Um, I do think they're trying to spread around those, those bookings around there. Uh, I think they're trying to attract more professionally, uh, professional and, and unique properties for them to stay at. Uh, they're always going to be trying to improve bookings and and average daily rates and things like that that's just because they're a public company now so they actually have quarterly results that that they need to 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 go by um which i'm sure we'll all be wondering <laughs> about this uh you know three a couple months down the road here and um I think in, in a lot of ways too this so Air, brian chesky uh the the founder and ceo of 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 um of airbnb is is a is a former designer i think he was a, a, I think he was an industrial designer so so design is and he went to school for that so that's why that that is why i think airbnb looks so nice in comparison to any of the other platforms it's just a lot easier to to use they they have a lot of thought put into that um but uh, brian's been brian's been living on airbnb for the past year and uh, yeah, just going from place to place. I saw an interview with him. He said that he's, he, he, he tends to book places last minute as well. Um, and, uh, I think a lot, you know, I think a lot of these changes are, are probably based on his own experience of, of, of doing that. Uh, yeah, cause he's, he's been not, living in the Airbnbs for a year, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think, or maybe even longer. I'm I'm not 100 sure. They they just changed to an all remote company too. So I think mm -hmm. they're you know they're they're really trying to push that 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 living I you know that living on Airbnb theme. I think is is pre, is essentially what this 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 new design is is trying to push towards. Uh, but you know we're not all air we're not all uh, Brian Chesky's. <laughs> yeah, you know we're, the we're com all, the common uh... person. We're not all the digital nomads, that's for sure. Um, listen, man, we got to do a part two because uh, there's a lot more to talk about. 
uh, but we've already been going for uh, for quite a while. So um, should we do we, a part two? Um. Oh yeah, I'll do, I'll definitely do a part two. But I, I kind of want to leave off with maybe like some some pointers here. I was kind of thinking about some some stuff around like what you should do with your with your yeah. listing. Would you be okay let's if I it. if we do one of that? Yeah, yeah let's so, uh, let's wrap it up with that, and then we'll uh, we'll do a part two because uh, there's a couple more things I want to chat about. Cool. Uh, what should I do with my listing uh, be, a, after this update? That's 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 you know the the big question here. Uh, I think first thing you got to review your property uh, on the back end, you know, review all the settings that you can. Are you in, you know, the property type that you have? Make sure that you, you've just kind of gone through that and, and audited the, the, the details in there. That's kind of the first thing. Um, if you're looking to position your property into a, a particular category, uh, based on what Airbnb has mentioned, they're, they're looking at your title, your description, your, your photos and things like that and photo captions. So, you know, just do the best that you can to, to, to fill in that kind of stuff. Take new photos if, if you need to, uh, if it's not very a hundred percent clear that, that, that you have an amazing view. Um, and maybe there's some clutter around, around your, your living room or something like that. That's making it a little difficult for, for, for their, um, uh, AI to, to figure out, uh, yeah, and, and uh, you know, thirdly, you you might want to just consider the types of guests that you're attracting typically, and and why they have come to you in the past, and and how they found you. Um, you know, the more you can put your search engine optimizer hat on on the the better off, better off you'll be for for any update, really, regardless of what what happens. So that's kind of like the fundamental thing that 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 you might want to consider. Um, and uh, d designs, you know, the design of your property, I think, is now probably the most important thing. Um, Airbnb, like we said, what is Airbnb thinking? Air Brian's a designer, and mm -hmm. and if you look at if you look at the 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 page that they put up, you know, I think design was, you know, they they're really happy, and proud of 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 those art those architectural pieces that they have there but beyond that you know i'm not saying you have to to have a <laughs> build a new property with a you know famous famous uh architect but just go back and look at the look at double down on a double down on a a, an, a room or an area in your property and just just supercharge it you know like maybe you want to add new drapery maybe put some more distinct furniture in there just make it so it's just so distinct that even just that one room alone, if it's your cover photo, will hopefully make you look um, significantly better than, well, maybe not significantly better, but uh, you, you'll, you'll stand out a lot more and, and get more clicks mm -hmm. from, from, from folks. So, and it doesn't have to be this, we're going to redesign the entire property. It's like, just choose one area and just, just focus on that. And I think that's like a, a yeah. super easy start to do. Uh, what else? Uh, well, photos, uh, photos are, you know, I think that's, that kind of goes in, 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 in tandem with, with, uh, with, with getting some extra new design. Cause you'll, you'll take the photos, but the photos have now become pretty much like the most important part, if not the, the only important part when it comes down <laughs> yeah. to, 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 to the person searching on, on Airbnb, you know, there's your star ratings there, but the majority of the focus is certainly going on, on, um, on on photos and i remember during the pandemic too that the um that brian chesky had mentioned you know just going back to fundamentals ultimately and and professionally grade photos for airbnb was a game changer for them so i think that they're mm -hmm. i think that's part of that that doubling down um doubling down thing uh lastly i think split stays we we talked about it before but you know three-day minimums or you potentially play around with three-day minimums on on maybe your mondays uh, starting on your Monday, so you can perhaps fill in those gaps. But uh, you know, I think it just depends on on. It's everything is a test. You got you got to test everything. Yeah. But right now, yep. the the split stay is only you're only going to get recommended as a split stay if if uh, if you have three days of availability at least for for that. Yep. So, and Mondays and Wednesdays are the hardest to fill. Yeah. So you might not. Uh... Yeah, you might want to have that minimum stay uh, a little bit higher if you're uh, if you want to take advantage of the split stays. And um, you know, I do 
<clears throat> I did notice I've been scrolling through some search results and I do notice the the split stay suggestions um, do pop up here and there. Uh, they're kind of, you know, far in between. Like there's, I don't see a lot of them, um, but I, they definitely pop up. So it's definitely something that, uh, you know, that shows up in the search results and that, uh, yeah, if you, maybe uh, that could be a whole, maybe you can design a whole strategy around, you know, showing up for, uh, for these split stay suggestions. But that's something that uh, maybe we can uh, get into uh, next time. Um, but yeah, let's do uh, let's do another uh, let's uh, let's come back next week. We'll do a part two on this because I think there's a lot more to to chat about. Um, but for now, thank you so much, Kelvin. Uh, and let let people know how they can find you at Rank Breeze. Uh, yeah, the easiest way to to find us is to go to rankbreeze.com. Uh, you can pretty much uh, look at the, the things that we have there. What we try to cover is rankings, pricing, and market data. So if any of those three things are, are in your alley of, um, uh, of, of tools and things like that you're looking for, then come check us out. Awesome. Cool, man. Well, let's, uh, if you and I both do some more research this week, and then, uh, you know, we, we can uh, maybe have some, uh, some more answers uh, next week when we come back. How's that sound? Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good to me. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you so much, Kelvin. And uh, thanks for listening. And of course, Friday, Eric and I will be back and we'll have some more uh, updates on our uh, free route project for you. So that's going to be uh, really fun and exciting. So thanks for listening and see you next time.